Get up, Henry, wake up. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Uh, Teresa? Hmm. You still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalit? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalit after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. What in the world were you doing in Scalit? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers. My family. My friends. They're all dead? All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. Oh, hello. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? Oh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanisch of Leiper. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you.
What the? My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter, who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. I'm not sure dealing with corpses is a job for me. I don't want that kind of stain on my conscience. Or my reputation. Find someone else. Suit yourself. I gave you a chance to work off your debt. Don't think you can wriggle out of it. I want my Groshen back. And quick. Otherwise, I'll make your life hell. Believe me. God be with you. Can you tell me... That's all. I changed my mind. I'll do what you want. Come to your senses, eh? Great. You know what you have to do. Get me the ring from that dead man on Gallows Hill. Where can I find a shovel? There's one right outside, leaning against the cart. May the Lord watch us. Try unlocking this trunk. You're a damn hand, Hal. Make something out of you yet. But remember, this trunk's only for practice. The real lot, you have to watch out for the pit. Try it a few more times if you like, then good luck with the real thing. <laughs>